Uh, Les, moving on to another not so happy story. Um, <laughs> uh, pedestrian deaths in the Western Cape. Uh, a death toll map has been published by the uh, Safety Home Campaign, who recently did one on child deaths, child pedestrians. Um, numbers are not good. Um, and I see 44% in the Western Cape of road deaths are pedestrians. Why? Why? Well, the sad thing is that the majority of, of pedestrian road deaths uh, among adults are caused by the same thing that caused road deaths in cars, alcohol. Mm. People walking at the side of the road, uh, inadequately illuminated, um, unstaggering or drunk or not looking where they're going. Mm. Uh, which is it was the major cause, there's no doubt about it, that's what the figures show. Mm. So Joe, what's the significance of, um, or what are they trying to achieve by publishing a, a, a death map, so to speak? Basically this pedestrian fatality map that the Western Cape Gov has released is just one part of an ongoing hard-hitting road safety campaign. Mm. Um, essentially what they've done is they've compiled data whereby you can actually view where pedestrians have been killed um, from January to I think August 2014. Mm -hmm. um, using Google Maps you can click on some of these markers. They'll tell you specifically uh, demographic, um, age and where applicable what zone they mm -hmm. were driving in. So case in point one of these markers would read um, black female a black female adult um, killed Camps Bay in a 60 zone. Mm -hmm. um, look while I applaud um, Donald Grant's efforts to try and you know, hit home the message of road safety, this is a grim reality we should all be aware of. Whether mm. or not this is effective, um, that also remains to be seen. I guess um, many viewers will see this and seeing as though it's happening in your area, sometimes you can view down to the mm. street where these occurred. <coughs> it might jar bad drivers into, look, I could, I could be killed on the road, I better shape up. So, do you want to give us some of the stats um, on these road deaths and also wanted to ask what is the significance of stipulating the person's age, you know, racial demographic, etc. Is it just for transparency purposes? What exactly are they trying to do? I'll, I'll answer your last one first. Um, this is unabashed shock tactics by the Western Cape Gov. Look, normally they deal with putting up road messages, buckle up, etc. They've decided that this doesn't work for them. Um, they want to hit home the message that look how many people are killed on our roads. Mm. Um, you can't escape it, you can't hide from it, and this is what they're doing. Um, just getting on to statistics, uh, I'll encourage our readers to view the full list, but some of the more pertinent facts. Um, according to the Department of Transport and Public Works, about 57% 50 of those killed in Cape Town CBD uh, were pedestrians, which is shocking. And if you drive around Cape Town, you can clearly see why that is. Mm. Um, about 582 pedestrians were killed on the Western Cape Roads in 2013. This has actually increased. Mm. Uh, pedestrians make up about 44% of the 2014 death mm. toll to date. And then, according to them, uh, poorer communities obviously are disproportionately um, represented. Mm. Uh, with black males aged 20 to 34, highest at risk demographic. Mm. And I see most of these are happening on freeways as well, on highways. Oh, so yeah. it obviously high speed, people trying to run across busy lanes, exactly. that kind of thing. Look, it's, it's sad. And as Donald Grant pointed in a previous um, video we did, the reason apparently that they believe people walk across freeways is that they don't want to use bridges, mainly because they're afraid of the criminal element that lurks on bridges. They'd rather, um, you know, sort of risk their lives in a high-speed mm. crash than their belongings, supposedly. Sure.